very good morning my friends how are you hope you guys are doing very well and welcome on this new midweek analysis video from extreme trader this is salah speaking so i wanted to share with you what's happening so far in the premium forex signals group and as you can see we have sent all these signals last monday and sadly we had to close two of them in a small losses however uh, the rest of the signals have made their tech profit levels look at that the rest of the signals are full of green including nzd jpy from the last friday has hit in the tech profit number three making 100 pips of profit alone from this signal really amazing knowing that the market is now unstable and then on tuesday we have sent these signals as you can see we had to close two of them in, of them in a very small loss one of them even is on break even however we managed to close the day in a good profit now I wanted to share with you also this beautiful message that I have received from one of our long-time clients. Um, he have made in just one day $500, almost $500 from our signals in, one, in just one single day. And thankfully, what he's saying here is that he we are the best so far. And look at that. He have joined six big signals group in his life so far. And he, he's thankfully saying that you really are the best. And here, of course, he's implying of what happened last week when we sold all of the pounds and it was a mistake that would not, not never happen again. However, he's still saying that this can be ignored and he's saying good cannot compare 85% winning ratio to 15% loss. Really amazing and I'm very happy for him and I hope all of uh, our clients will make uh, profits using our signals and thankfully uh, they will understand how to use our signals and I wanted to say something here. What's the difference between this gentleman here and those who are uh, criticizing our signals or the haters? Of course, it's the, the difference is the experience and this gentleman here, he knows how to use our signals and he knows our results. He knows the quality of our signals and he knows that if there was one bad day, it will be recovered very soon with so many good days and he will make in the end good profits. So if you wish to join Extreme Trader Forex Signals Group, please contact our support. You can find their contact details in the description below this video. Contact them today and hopefully we will see you there. All right, so now let's go to the midweek analysis. And of course, we have to see what happened in the market so far uh, since I have sent the last signals on last Saturday. Now, first of all, before we start, I wanted to imply what happened here on the market. As you can see, the market has been rocked by the NC news. Uh, let me show you. These are the news. Actually, it is uh, it came actually from the private sector in the United States, and they have increased the hiring momentum in November. Of course, this news has supported the rising of the US dollar. As you can see, uh, this drop here happened, this one here. The dollar, let me just show you. The, sorry, this is the AUD USD. This is the candle I'm talking about, and it has went for almost 100 pips alone after uh, releasing this news. It actually has rocked the market, and we can see the same candle has appeared on all of the pairs. We can see it as well here in the pound USD almost 130 pips as well uh aud usd right here as well the same candle we can see right here even for the usd cad this is the candle here that is that caused actually the rise uh, no i think this one sorry this is the one yes it went for almost 60 pips uh usd gpy as well as we can see right here that is the candle actually has uh, broke the trend uh, usd chf also we can see the same candle right here so definitely the usd dollar has rose actually upon this news and of course the gold first of them to be affected and as you can see it has managed to break the long-term support so we will go to talk about that however i'm very glad to see that the signals are still active and as you can see these candles right here which i have just shown you uh, these are actually they are just a reaction of the news however uh, they didn't change the, the direction of the euro usd and the euro usd signal is still active from the right uh, level for the buy and as we can see also it is going ahead toward the take profit level now what will gonna happen next with the euro usd or what we can expect let's first move to the one hour time frame you know something let's go back to the four hour so on the four hour time frame what we can see right here let me delete this so what we can see here on the four hour time frame is a strong resistance right here is a strong key resistance level and the market has actually made a reaction each and every time it has reached the same level of 1.19160 immediately the reversal was uh, happening 
that indicates of course a strength in the level of the resistance and what we can expect right here that the market might reverse as well once it hit uh, this resistance and then it might bounce back for the pullback now the question is what should we do shall we hold the position or we can close it and open another one of course you can hold your position if you have opened it, the buy order already for the uh, euro usd however if in case you didn't open the trade yet we can open another position so let's go now to the one hour time frame and let's see where we can actually start buying the pair again if i'm not mistaken we can start again buying the uh, euro usd again at the same level of the resistance of 1.1 1 1, uh, sorry 8955 actually higher than that let me just show you uh it is right here like that perfect so we are going actually to aim buying the euro usd from the retest of the long-term resistance as well right here on 1.893 sorry 1.8938 that is going to be actually a good level to start buying the pair since actually we can see that the pair has managed finally to make the breakout from that level of the resistance not only that but again on the one hour time frame we can see that this resistance has already been broken out from and already right here we are having a support number one so we can expect from the market to make a pullback and retest the same level again to make a sip a support number two that is going to be actually our best level to start buying the euro usd again so therefore uh, if in case you have missed entering uh, the first signal let me just uh, tell you here euro usd should be good for the buy again at the level 1.8938 and of course we are gonna hold the same take profit level and the same uh, same distance or same same amount of uh, safe, uh, safe zone is gonna be almost 45 pips no more and hopefully also uh, it's gonna end up as a good week and a good signal and bring us a lot of profits let's now look at the pound usd now the pound usd as we can see the signal actually or the candles has actually reached the take profit level immediately at the opening on monday it went all the way to the take profit level making the signal not valid any longer and as we can see the market also or the pound usd has been affected by the news uh, of the united states uh, private sectors increasing the hiring momentum and that candle here has appeared again and it has also almost reached the entry level again and again also went all the way to the take profit level beautiful but however the signal was not valid any longer now from what we can see right here that the growth momentum is strong and actually uh, i think the pound usd is going to continue the rise now the question is what we can do about the pound usd right now now it's easily here let me just delete this old signal and by looking here at the market, we can see that the, uh, the pound USD actually is facing a strong two resistance levels right here on the level 1.33105. Now we can see already also the market has created not only two, actually three attempts. We can see here attempt number one of the support, support number one, support number two, and support number three indicates a very strong level of a previous resistance and of course a support and and i think the market is actually going to continue the rise immediately after all these three attempts now again i am on the four hour time frame let's go to the one hour time frame so we can know exactly where we can start buying the pair and by looking at this uh, market right here we can see that we are having right here a support number one right here let me show you that is a support number one which was also previously a resistance and has been broken out from two times that's why i think the pound usd actually gonna fall for another uh, 27 pips before it's gonna be valid for the buy again so therefore uh, the pound usd should be good for the buy again at the level one point uh, double th triple three double zero that's gonna be our target to start buying the pound usd again and let me just uh, draw for you uh, the safe zone the safe zone is actually going to be ranging until the lowest level of the support it's going to be ranging for almost actually we can increase it a little bit more just like that exactly so it's going to be ranging for almost 45 pips which is fair enough let's draw here the safe zone edge just like that and of course the take profit level is going to be changed as well and we will make the take profit level the next highest level of the resistance which was actually actually here at the top peak of the resistance at the level one point let me draw, draw it for you the take profit is 
for one. After that, we can see what will gonna happen with the pound USD. However, it seems that the rising uh, is gonna continue until it hit the top of the resistance. So I hope it's gonna be also a good signal and we will make some good profits out of it. Let's now look at the AUD USD. AUD USD signal has also been activated. As we can see, uh, it has been triggered yesterday and the pair is now going in 72 pip pips of profit and definitely i'm very proud of my work and of my signals thankfully all of them have been working fine regardless of those who don't agree with the signals and i see them uh, i see their comments on youtube of course but it's always welcome to uh, make some discussions with the traders uh, and of course uh, difference in, op in opinions is always welcomed however which is not welcomed is the unrespected comments or un unrespectful comments. Anyway, what will gonna happen next with the AUDUSD? Now, if I'm not mistaken, the AUDUSD might actually reverse, as we can see right here. Um, we have here a pin bar has appeared on the four hour time frame and seems like the AUDUSD is actually gonna uh, reverse, making a pullback. However, I think it's still gonna be valid for the buy. The question is where we can start buying the pair again. If I'm not mistaken as well, uh, regard same almost same for the AUD for the, sorry for the pound USD, we can see that the pair has actually managed to make the break out from this long term resistance on 0 0.73240 and we already have right here a support number one has appeared. So we can expect from the pair to fall more to create support number two and of course that's going to be our boy. We're going to start buying the pair again right now from that support number two. So therefore the next valid signal for buying the AUD USD in, the, in case you guys have missed entering the first signal is 0 0.73240 and the safe, this, the safe zone is actually going to be the same like that until the lowest level of the support right here and for the take profit level I think now we can increase the take profit a little bit more to be the top peak of the resistance as well so from the new signal we are looking for almost 80 pips of profit let me just change the uh, take profit uh, major uh, 74044 that's our new target for the AUD USD and hopefully also we will make good uh, profits out of it USD CAD of course in the comments you can see someone has actually said that the USD CAD is rising and you can thank thank him later and I wanted to say thank you but it didn't rise as you said actually it went for it fall down as I have said so anyway now what's gonna happen next with the um, USD CAD USD CAD actually has reversed almost from the near, very near to my entry level almost five pips and went all the way down to the take profit level straight away now if I'm not mistaken uh, the USD CAD is actually gonna continue the fall and is gonna fall all the way to hit the lowest bottom of the support at 1.29355 so that's actually going to be our next take profit level, which is right here. And let me just edit the take profit level here also. 1.29355. Now the question is where we can start again selling the USD CAD. Let me first delete the first signal. And by looking at the market right now, we can see that the pair seems like it's reversing at that support level. Let me just show you. The pair is facing right here a support level and seems like right now it's reversing but however I think it's gonna uh, continue the fall right from that previous support level. That support level I mean right here. Actually right here the same one yes. Um, we can see right here that we are having right here the bearish breakout candle from the support. So that is the support that is the bearish breakout candle and the market might rise a little bit more just to hit the same level of the uh, uh, previous support and after that is gonna continue the fall like that so we can, we have to wait for the usd cat to rise for another almost 17 pips before it's gonna be valid for the short so therefore let's let's not waste the time and let me just draw for you uh, the safe zone as well exactly the same just like this and we can start shorting the usd cad for the sell at the level uh, 1.3169 Again, hopefully it will be a good signal and we will make some good profits out of it. Now USDGPY. USDGPY sadly did not go as I expected. And as we can see, it has been affected by the news about the um, hiring momentum being increased in the private sector in the United States. Therefore, the signal for the uh, sell is no longer valid. 
and I'm gonna delete it. Now what we can see right here is that the USD GPY after this strong bullish candle, right now we are facing right here a strong support level as well. So the market definitely gonna fall to retest that support level and after that it's gonna be great for the buy. However, we need to draw the support line in the right way. Now the right way to draw the support line is not here at the lowest level of the support. It's actually like this. Look at the cursor. Look at my, my, my mouse cursor. Perfect. Now I wasn't looking here by the way. I was not looking here to see where it has reversed. I was looking right here to match my line in a way that it touches all of the tails right here and right here and right here. In this way, I have drawn my support line where it matches all of the tails of the candles. And by that, I have made the perfect uh, point of the reversal. As you can see, the market has indeed reversed right here. This is actually what I'm teaching on my channel, how to draw the support and resistance lines. And as we can see, the market has actually respected this level perfectly uh, fine and has reversed immediately on that level. However, the next reversal for the support number two is going to be different. Actually, it's going to reverse, if I'm not mistaken, right here at the top of the uh, resistance right here. And by that, by saying that we can actually change right now the signal for the USD GPY. We have to wait for it to reverse for another 24 pips. And after that, it's going to actually be valid for the buy. So let me just draw for you the safe zone. And by the way, I'm sure someone will ask me, Salah, why is support number two is different from support number one? Mm, that actually might be explained in another video. We don't have time to explain this in this midweek analysis video. 104.218 is where we are going to start again buying the USD GPY. And the target this time is actually going to be this resistance right here. The take profit level is going to be 106.130. And also hopefully it will work out well for us and be a good signal. Let's now look at the USD CHF. USD CHF signal is actually uh, has just been triggered. And as we can see, it's now is going in the profit so far in 16 pips of profit. I believe there is absolutely no need to discuss anything about the USD CHF because it's going just fine. And it has just recently been activated. Therefore, um, we might expect the pair to rise a little bit more just again to, to hit the same level of the entry uh, of the signal. And then again, it's going to continue the fall. So anyway, uh, USDCHF signal remains the same without any changes. Now let's look at the gold. The gold actually has really been affected by this news from the United States and of course supported as well by the news about the uh, discovering the vaccine of the COVID-19 virus and announcing that the go uh, sorry um, on mid-December or actually end of December they're going to release the vaccine for all of the people in the United States. I think that actually has affected the gold and is going to continue affecting it. Therefore, we can start actually shorting the gold. Now, the question is where we can start short the gold. Actually, for the gold, uh, we are going to rely on that. Let me just show, let me delete all of these signals. Now, if I'm not mistaken, the gold actually going to continue the fall all the way until it hit that re the resistance right here, the previous resistance right here on 1765 before actually is going to be good for the buy i think the gold is not going to be valid for the buy until that time so therefore and until then we can start shorting the gold the gold actually the bearish uh, or the fall of the gold is actually supported by that resistance right here on 1817 that's actually going to be very good level to start shorting the gold again. Right now, we can see that the gold is facing a small support right here. That is, of course, not a key support level. So as I said, the gold is uh, uh, facing that support right here. It might bounce a little bit more to hit the same level of the resistance right here. And actually, after that, it's going to be good for the short. So therefore, we are going to start shorting the gold. If it uh, hopefully rise a little bit more to hit the resistance, sell the gold at 1817.35 and then our target is gonna be right here that previous support level take profit level 1765.08 to be honest with you i really doubt that the gold might reach that level or that this take profit level uh, this week it might reach it next week because again we're on the daily candles so 
we are just hoping that the bearish momentum is going to be strong and it's, it might continue the fall right away. So the safe zone, of course, this time, let me just show you. The safe zone is going to be ranging from our entry until this nearest week right here to the bearish breakout candle. Because there is a chance that the market might rise a little bit more to hit the same level of the previous support right here. That is actually going to be a perfect level to start shorting the pair again. Most likely uh, it might happen. However, I think uh, the gold is really getting weaker right now because of the uh, the news of affected by the um, in the United States and about the vaccine of COVID-19 and all of that. So therefore, that's going to be uh, the, so the safe zone is going to be ranging for almost 120 pips. Meanwhile, the target is going to be almost 500 pips and hopefully we will make them all that's gonna be our signal like that so again uh the market as i said is tough please guys pay attention to the to the news keep your eye keep your ears and eyes open for uh the breaking news uh there is so many of them right now happening and we have to be very careful and hopefully of course we will make some good profits this week so in the end i hope that was informative to you and i would like to thank you for watching